Hello, everyone. Icebreakers have been used for centuries. Initially, icebreakers were made of wood with sturdy holes to open pathways in ice-covered waters. In the 19th century, larger icebreaker ships began production in Europe and North America to meet the needs of polar exploration and exploration expeditions. During World War II, these ships became crucial as they were used to open pathways in ice-covered waters, facilitating the transport of cargo and military supplies to hard-to-reach regions. In the post-war era, icebreaker ships continued to play a vital role in the shipping and trade industry. Until today, icebreaker ships remain in use, and there are even icebreaking LNG tankers like the vessel named Christophe de Marjorie. Christophe de Marjorie is a commercial tanker operating in the Arctic waters of Russia. It is used to transport liquefied natural gas from Russia's Yamal fields. This 300 meter long ship has a hull made of lightweight steel and is equipped with engines that rival the power of nuclear powered vessels. The largest commercial ship is capable of navigating through ice layers up to 2.1 meters thick. Icebreaker ships are extensively utilized by countries with regions affected by polar climate, including Russia, Canada, Finland, and Norway. The design of these ships includes a wider hull and powerful engine thrust, enabling them to penetrate and break thick sea ice. The hull of an icebreaker also features a lubricating layer of resin to reduce friction between the hull and the ice it encounters. Some icebreakers are equipped with advanced braking systems that allow the ship to stop quickly when navigating through ice-covered waters. The bow or the forward part of an icebreaker is designed in a spoon-shaped form to effectively break through ice layers. With this shape, the ship can ride up onto the ice layer and use its weight to break through the ice effectively. Modern icebreakers commonly feature a combination of propulsion systems designed to further assist in breaking ice. Indeed, regular ships can break thin layers of ice, but they are not designed to effectively break through thicker and harder ice conditions like dedicated icebreaker vessels. Icebreaker ships, with their specialized capabilities, can effectively break through very thick ice, creating navigable pathways for other vessels. Icebreakers serve multiple functions, including ensuring maritime transportation safety, conducting research missions, and serving as vessels for expedition tourism. Indeed, in addition to diesel and Lang-powered icebreakers, some are designed with nuclear propulsion. This enables the ship to operate in ice-covered regions without the need for refueling due to the extended duration provided by nuclear energy. Nuclear-powered icebreakers have the capability to break ice layers with a thickness of up to 3 meters. Most nuclear-powered icebreakers are indeed built by Russia and the former Soviet Union. The first nuclear-powered icebreaker, the ship Lenin, was launched in 1957. Nuclear-powered icebreakers house a nuclear reactor, and their nuclear power source comes from uranium-235. These ships have the capability to generate a significant and continuous power supply for three to four years without the need for regular refueling due to their nuclear propulsion systems. Inside the nuclear reactor, uranium undergoes fission reactions, generating heat energy. The fission reactions heat the water to over 300 degrees Celsius. This heated water is then directed to a heat exchanger which transforms it into high-pressure steam. The high-pressure steam is directed to drive turbines connected to electric generators, producing electrical power. The generated electrical energy is utilized to propel the ship and meet the internal electrical needs on board. NS-50 Let Pobody is indeed one of the nuclear-powered icebreakers. It was built in 1989 and launched in 1993. In 2011, it was recognized as the world's largest nuclear-powered icebreaker, 
capable of reaching a speed of 18 knots and breaking through ice up to 2.8 meters thick. The bow or forward part of the ship is designed to enhance ice breaking efficiency. An S-50 let Popity is frequently deployed to sail towards the North Pole, clearing pathways for other ships unable to navigate through ice-covered regions. It is also used to tow ships that may become trapped in ice-covered waters. The ship features an aft-minute stern, which is useful for towing other vessels through the Arctic, especially during inclement weather. In addition to its role as an icebreaker, NS-50 let Popity is utilized as a tourist vessel, offering trips to the North Pole at a cost of $45,000 for a 14-day journey. Tourists on this ship can also rent a helicopter, with a cost of $2,000 for a 30-minute rental. Inside the ship, various facilities cater to tourists' needs, including a swimming pool, salon, library, and restaurants. Due to its nuclear power, NS-50 let Popity can sail for four to five years without the need for fueling, as it can generate its own electricity.